Hi everyone, my name is Christine Herron and I'm a graphic designer from Manila, Philippines, currently living in Berkeley, California. So I recently got to work on a really fun collaboration with the amazing Lauren Hong and we created a recipe card template for you to customize and share all your favorite recipes with friends and family. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to be customizing the template on my own, putting in my own recipe. So let's jump right in. Okay, so let's start by opening up the template. The template is made out of three pages, an ingredients page, a directions page, and the third page is a directions page that is perfect for longer recipes. So if your recipe calls for more steps than just five, feel free to add more. Okay, so I am going to be customizing this with my own recipe. I have an apple pie recipe right here, and as you can see, I have a lot more ingredients than the simple mocha cake. We can paste our text straight into the current text box, and as you'll see, since it's a little longer, it will take a little more formatting. You can change the text size to make it smaller and the line height to make it a little tighter to make sure that all your text fits. We, also, we can also move the illustrations. If you're not making a mocha cake, you can feel free to replace this with whatever you're making. So, looks like my recipe ingredients seem to fit. I just need to change the line height a little more. Okay, looks great. Um, I, I like to change the formatting for these titles to make it a little bold to add more hierarchy. So if you're adding in your own recipe ingredients, um, feel free to add a, your own illustrations. Say in that bottom right corner, looks like that could use a great illustration. I'm changing the name of this recipe to Nancy's apple pie because this is my mom's famous apple pie. All right, so let's move on to the directions. As you'll see, this page is not good for all of my directions. So I'm gonna be using the third page. I am also going to just copy paste all of my ingredients, all of my directions I mean, into a new text box. That way it'll be easier for me to format. I'm using the eyedropper tool to copy the font used in the template again. And as you notice, it grabs the drop cap formatting that I have with these directions. Since the drop cap is a different font, I don't want to be pasting my instructions straight into it. What I want to do is to format this new paragraph to take out the drop cap feature. That way, as if I copy paste my instructions, I mean my directions inside, it'll be a lot smoother. Okay, so let's copy and paste our directions one by one. As you're doing this, you'll notice that a lot of, of the directions might take some formatting, whether that's shortening your text or rewording some certain things, um, just to get the text to fit. When you're done, you can also add in your own illustrations or use the illustrations that come in the template. Um, feel free to move those around depending on how your text fits, um, and also feel free to add your own illustrations in to make, really make this recipe card your own. So we used two pages and the middle page was um, part of the template. So I'm going to delete that. All right, so far this looks really great. Um, what I want to do too is to change the background color to make it a little warmer to fit the whole apple pie theme. I am changing this to brown, changing the tint to 25%, have a light brown. Okay, so when you're done, you're ready to export it so you can share it both on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you like to share. So I'm exporting this as a JPEG. And okay, I'm gonna be calling it Apple Pie, version one. And make sure it's 300 DPI, high res, and export. This layout also features bleeds, so if you'd like to export this for print, you may do so too. Don't forget to change it to CMYK. All right, that's it. I hope this was helpful and I can't wait to see all the recipes that you have to share.